Hi, I'm Adam Purnell, and today I'm gonna to show you a super simple, easy lamb dinner, all cooked on the Arga Outdoor Grill. Like you cannot have a lamb dinner without some mentally good potatoes. So we're going to do my version of comfy potatoes. So I've got, taken the spuds here, I've already prepped them because it takes a little while, but it's Easter, you know, have a glass of beer, sit back, do it in your own time. I'm not going to do it on camera potatoes. In fact, I'll do one. So this, here, this is what we've done with these potatoes. Here's the first potato. Right, so take it down to your board. You want to take off the edge. You need two flat surfaces for these. So these little bits, you cut them in half, you can turn them into chips or like skin on fries or something, wedges for the kids, whatever, okay? And then on the outside, if you've got a peeler, it's easier. You're just gonna peel the edge off of the spud. So you end up with a disc that looks something, I'm rushing this because I'm on camera, like this. Yeah, you don't want that a bit left on. And now I've taken too much off it. But you get the idea. It should all look like this, right? The idea of that is that when we come to cook them, we're going to get loads of caramelization on that flat side. So into a pan on the top here, we've got on a medium heat at the moment. We're going to start off with just, just the rapeseed oil. So our discs are just going to go. Try and squeeze as many as we can, but you must make sure that when you put them in, that the flat bit is touching. Don't want to be at them. If they start riding up the sides of the pan, you've done too many. Leave the potatoes in the pan and do nothing with them at all for a few minutes whilst we make the marinade for our lamb chops. I'm not into spring lamb for a few reasons. One, spring lamb hasn't been around for very long, poor little things, right? They're lambs. So they haven't had time to develop much flavour and they haven't had much time on this planet. This is hoggit. So this is actually 18 months old, um, which means it's got loads more flavour. Uh, the lambs had a much longer and nicer life because they do have a very nice life here in Shropshire. You get nice meaty big chops like this. I mean, spring lamb chops are going to be like, you're going to need three or four of them just for one person. Whereas these, you know, that's pretty much a portion there just in one chop. They are, they're big boys. So if you can source some hog it from your butcher, I would highly recommend it. In this pestle mortar, we've got three cloves of garlic. So into there, we're going to go with a tablespoon of black pepper along with the salt. Uh, we're also gonna throw in there some rosemary. Doing it fresh like this, bashing up your black pepper rather than grinding it is gonna be an absolute game changer compared to any shop-bought rub or anything dry that you might buy to make the time to do it. So probably a couple of tablespoons of rapeseed oil and just a little splash of red wine vinegar just for some acidity. And then work that around like so. Chops are gonna go into the bowl. I'm gonna use most of the marinade, leaving a little bit behind is gonna go in there. And then just use your hands, don't be shy, work it all in. Smell unbelievable already. We haven't even started cooking them yet. So whilst my hands are dirty, I'm just gonna rub up these tomatoes, because they're gonna go on at the same time as these chops. Might as well use that marinade wisely. Prep a little bit of the veg as well. So I've got a hispy cabbage here or a sweetheart cabbage. Just slice it in half and that's it. And we're gonna place that down on the grill. Just like the potatoes, we've got the maximum contact by making it flat. Just nicely getting some golden color on the outside of those. I'm gonna go in, oh shit. 50 grams of butter here. I'm gonna pop that in there and allow it to melt down, kind of starts to brown. It will help to caramelize the bottom of those potatoes. We're gonna turn them back over and then they'll finish on the side that we've just cooked in the stock. Also now gonna add in, now the butter's melted, we're gonna add in some sprigs of thyme. We're gonna add a little bit of salt now. The color we were looking for on the cabbage now, this is where the left leftover bit of marinade comes in. I'm just gonna brush those now with the oil. They won't just cook if you leave them on one side. It's quite a chunky piece of cabbage and they take a while, that's why they're on now. They're on before the meat because you can't really overcook them. That's the color we're looking for in those spuds. 
you're getting the right idea. They're looking like a roast potato. They're cooking, they're starting to soften on the edges, which is great. So now we're gonna go in with some stock, not too much. Just wanna like go about halfway up the potatoes. Also put a little bit of stock into your hispy cabbage. Our tomatoes can go on with our veggies over this side and they can just sit, char up nicely. Okay, and we're gonna go in with the chops. My real nice sear. Make sure that they are, you know, getting good, all fully contacted on the grill. Can't beat Shropshire lamb. Sorry, Wales. Oh, the fat's dancing. Beautiful. Just what we want. Feeling real good. Just gonna do one last turn. So I'm just gonna throw on some tender stem broccoli. But a little bit more stock in there is not gonna hurt. But also these guys will take a bit of stock. A bit of a steam kind of steam starter. Look at the colour on that though. Having that contact grill, they are absolutely stunning looking chops, you have to admit. Whilst these finish off, knock up a real quick mint sauce. Mint's gonna go in there. Good glug of honey, maybe two tablespoons. It's the same amount of vinegar as you use honey. For me, that's all you need. Mint, honey, vinegar. Pinch of salt if you wish. Crisp up the fat to finish. You can kind of wedge them against this pan. Just crisp up the bottom of the fat. Look at the colour of those. Stunning. Oh, beautiful. I love a comfy potato. The lamb's going to come off now. Let that rest. We're just going to whip those out now. We don't need them swimming in the hot fat. The fat keeps them crispy. As soon as that fat cools, it's just going to seep it into the potato. Broccoli coming off. A bit of vibrancy. Beautifully charred tomatoes. If you just slice down the middle, you kind of get that charred on one side effect, all cooked through, beautifully soft. Right then, I'm just gonna plate some up and have a taste. Mint sauce, across the chops. You've got yourself a winner, I reckon. Literally took me 30 minutes to come up with a delicious lamb dinner. We'll have to give it a little taste now, so let's work through. Look at that is. And then this lamb. Mmm. Man, that mint sauce. My dad taught me that when I was like 10. I mean, it's the best. Don't ever buy a mint sauce. Do that. I make this lamb dinner. It's incredible. I'm Adam Pennell. Hope you've enjoyed it. Get this made. It's so good, honestly. Thanks for watching. See you next time.